love combinations like this where the speed does change. Very nice. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy Hiroshi Yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle People. Today I've got a very quick advanced combo tutorial for you. I'm going to be teaching you really how to piece together about six, maybe seven moves if you can squeeze one in. Seven moves together, right? I'm just going to take you through my mind and how it, yeah, how I basically try and get this done. Especially if you're in the gym trying to get a skipping workout, this is a really good way to train because you're gonna be trying and trying and trying, failing and failing and failing. Before you know it, you've burnt loads of calories and you've got extra skills in the bag. So make sure you stick around to the end. I'm gonna make sure you guys are flying like bosses. As always, go copy your ropes down below in the links. Check your local Amazons. We're stocking worldwide, people. These are the most in-demand speed ropes on the planet. Hands down. Let's do this, people. So first and foremost, seven move combo, okay? I'm gonna take you through step by step. It shouldn't be too long of a video. You're hopefully already past that kind of beginner stage Go back, check those videos as always. Um, got loads and loads of videos on, uh, yeah, just doing some of these moves. Some of these moves have all been broken down once upon a time. And we just wanna share, really, I wanna share basically how I think about piecing everything together and building these up. So I love these kind of combo tutorials and I've got a big series and I've got a playlist on it. So again, check it all out. A little bit windy here in the UK. Hopefully the sound, are, yeah, hopefully you can hear me nicely. Sun's out, that's the main thing. A little bit cold. All right, first things first. Make sure your rope length's good. Like I said, this is not a beginner tutorial. You're already skipping with a rope that feels comfortable with you, but you are gonna be now trying to imitate a rush athletics combo. So make sure this rope is only clipping the floor, feels comfortable for you. Your rope arcs, everything's already sexy. I already know that you guys know how to do basic skipping like this. And we're just gonna start really with a really nice boxer step. First move, side swing with a boxer step. Now, the whole part of this tutorial is piecing together moves and making sure that everything looks nice and slick. And then also I'm gonna be teaching you a kind of ladder tutorial that goes along with it to help you maximize these combinations. So now you're just gonna follow along, hopefully you got your rope. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna add a little cross to this now, a little boxer step cross with a side swing. So this is what you're gonna be doing in the gym now. Like I said to you before, it's a little follow along, what goes through my mind and you just follow it burn those calories. So right now I'm thinking deep inhales and exhales. I'm starting to think about weight shift. So when I'm doing these boxer steps, there's a weight shift going on. I'm here and I'm here. It's not static like this, right? Really nice, nimble, feeling like really light on your feet, okay? That's the first two moves, side swing, boxer step with a cross, couple here like this, right? After this point, we're now gonna add a double cross. So it's looking like this. You got your cross here, and you're gonna get to the side swing. Boom, boom. Quick point to mention, people, is as I'm piecing these together, don't worry too much about how many times you do a cross, how many times you do a side swing. Just go with the flow, stick with me. So we're gonna add that double cross now. So we've done that already. So it's side swings, crossovers, double crossing. One, two. All right, nice and easy. Got this boxer step going, got this crossover going. Another little cool tip is my eye line. I've done a tutorial on this. My eyes are always fixed on the rope. I'm not like looking into space. When you get better, yeah, you can do it naturally. You can do it with your eyes closed. If you've got a mirror, even better. But just focus on the rope, keeps your timing nice and sweet. And we're just staying on the balls of our feet, heels always off the floor. And we can continue this. All right, three moves in. Fourth move now, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna add a little double under and then back to the start. So you're here now, side swing, crossing, double crossing here, and then a little double under there. So from that point, it's cross, cross, and we explode into a double under.
So that's four moves now, people, all right? Nice and quick now, here we go. Side swing, crossing, double crossing, double. Back to side swinging. From here now, we're gonna go into really nice south four, left, right, or you can go right, left. So while I'm just kind of piecing this in my mind, what moves naturally go nicely together? So when you're doing like a south four double under, for example, that can go really nice after one double under, two under, it doesn't really matter. I'm just thinking in my head, if I'm gonna do a south four double under, it's gonna look nice after the initial double under, right? So here, crossing, double crossing, double, one, two, back to side swinging. So, should be nice and slick. And when you land after that side four, back to your boxer step. Nathan, how's it looking so far? Slick. Nathan said slick if you didn't hear that, but Listen, we want to keep it nice, rhythmic. Those boxer steps, what's going through my mind, people, is same pattern, always the same pattern. Nothing should ever feel like out of place. Nothing should feel extra fast, extra slow. Even though you're doing the double unders and the south fours, although they're quicker moves, it should, when you come back to your side swing, it should like fall back into place. You're piecing together the little puzzle now to make one sexy picture. Okay, coming up to the last few moves now. So, we're in this point here now, cross, cross, double cross. What we're gonna do now after the south four, back to double. Really like, I really love this kind of way of doing this, right? South four, south four, land, back into doubles. And you'll see if you record videos um, that these two moves just go so sexy together. So I'll just do them two moves together. So it's like here, here, okay. Really nice. And about the boxer step. So, how many moves are in? Five. Five. Five moves. Side swings, crossovers, double cross, double under, south pour, another double under. The last move, people, to piece this now really, really nice is a double under crossover, of course. So, after a double under, take off, land. When you take off again, we're gonna cross, uncross. We're gonna go for the Mayweather style. So, we're here now, side swings, crossing. Double crossing, double south pull, south pull, double. Back to boxer step. One quick point to mention about this, right? Again, my thought process is, I'm imagining that there's like a little cross right below my feet. There's like a, imagine like a little piece of tape or something on the floor. Try not to deviate. Try to stay in the same place when you're doing combos like this. Obviously it's nice to move around if you've got space in the gym to skip, but combinations like this will always look nicer if you can take off, land in the same position. That's another little thought process for mine. We're here. So, really nice little combo peeps. Hopefully, you get used to what I'm doing here. And uh, bonus move. We got time for bonus move? Of course. Nathan said we got time, so we got time for bonus move. Double under cross, land. We're just gonna go for a double under, cross, cross, all right? So, thought process here. Um, we're in a position now where the, the combination has taken a little speed turn. We're already into this kind of fast motion. South pour, double, double under cross. Keep that intensity up. We're gonna now try the double cross, cross. Land nice and softly. Love combinations like this where the speed does change. Very nice. How's it, Nathan? Very slick. Very slick. Nathan likes it, so we're, we're really happy. And uh, we're gonna keep you there. Um, peeps. Really nice, short tutorial, uh, love making these. Little just insight into my mind. Follow these kind of drills, follow these little patterns. You can add to it, take things away, do it your own way. And uh, honestly, it's just gonna be super, super fun when you're working out on your ropes. My heart is racing, already burned probably about 100 calories just doing that. 
Imagine what you could do in about 20, 30 minutes. Keep it slick, man. All right, people, I'll see you in the next video. As always, please drop, before I do actually, drop this video a big thumbs up, really, really useful for me. Leave me a comment, let me know what you wanna see going forward and I'll get it done for you as usual. Copy your ropes, copy your merch. The support means the world to me. Keep us busy here and I owe you the world. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video. So take care of yourself. Let's get the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now